Did you know there's hidden profile icons locked inside your Nintendo Switch? Well, today in this video, we're going to take you step by step how to unlock all these new icons to spice up your profile. Hey guys, Webinar 20 back again, and today we're going to show you some hidden icons locked away in your Nintendo Switch that you can unlock and add them to your public profile for all to see. Now, I did not know this existed until today. I was just messing around. I was bored and I figured it out. And I was like, you know what? If I didn't know about this, there's probably a few others that did not know about this either. Now, the profile I'm talking about is up here. If you go to your actual page on your Nintendo Switch to your public profile, you can see I have a new icon that a lot of you may not have it's the new mario kart icon with a new background a lot of you guys probably have like the default characters and backgrounds that you can see listed right here these are kind of just like the the normal ones that are actually on the system settings you can choose this you can choose a me you can do whatever you want you can get different backgrounds and stuff like that different colors and everything I'm going to show you that there's a whole new menu with a bunch more new options that is not in the system menu. So what we need to do is actually get out of here and go to the red icon to the Nintendo Switch Online tab on the bottom left of your home screen here. Go ahead and just go to that. You are going to need some platinum points, which you probably have some because you get them for just downloading games and just playing things and doing certain missions and stuff like that. If you want to know how to get platinum points, you can go to Club Nintendo and you can look it up and it's fairly easy to do. It's not that hard at all. So what you want to do on the far left side of the screen, go down to where it says missions and rewards. And you'll see this pop up. Go ahead and press the R button here to go over here. And um, you can see I have this collected. I've got all these icons are collected. This costed, I think, five platinum points. And I have like a thousand. Well, I had a thousand. Now I only have 850. And let me just show you what I mean. Let's go to the Animal Crossing section here. So if you go to the Animal Crossing New Horizons section, as you can see, I collected a few already. I'm going to go ahead and just collect these right now. You just press A. Are you sure you want to redeem this for 10 points or whatever? Sure, why not? I'll go ahead and collect all these. Why the heck not? I mean, I got nothing else to do. I'm bored. So I'll show you guys how this works. So you can go ahead and collect that. Collect that. You can collect whatever one that you, you know, like. I don't necessarily like these. This guy looks pretty cool, though. So let's go ahead and collect this dude right here. So, I mean, you can go ahead and collect all these if you want. And there's all these backgrounds you can collect. So let's go ahead and collect this. This is five points. The other ones were ten points. It'll tell you which one, how much it costs to do all these. But um, go ahead and do that. You can pick a frame if you want. So let's go down here to some frames. I did not know this existed until today. I don't think Nintendo really mentioned it either. So I was like, I got to make a video because there's all these new icons and stuff that you can unlock and they're they're free. Yes, it, it costs you points, but these points you can get for free just for doing, you know, regular things. So here we go. So... Now what you want to do is, you would think since you unlock these, they're in the system menu, but they're not in the system menu. So what you want to do is like, say you want this little guy right here, you got to use, use to create icons. So there you go. Now we're going to create an icon here. And let's see, these are custom ones that are already made for you, or you can just create your own icon. We're going to create our own icon. Um, let's go ahead and do a background for this guy. Um, I like that one right there with the like with the ocean in the background. So we'll use that. Um, characters we can choose different characters that we've already unlocked uh, on the Nintendo Switch Online service. We're gonna stick with him. Frames you can add a frame if you want to. Um, I think that looks pretty cool there. And there you go. And now we just created a new icon right there. Boom, new icon. And you can switch. Now that I made this one, it actually switched. So you can go ahead and switch back and forth between your icons. And that's pretty cool. So, boom. All you got to do is go to the Nintendo Switch Online service. If I want to, I can go ahead and switch it to this. Hit OK. It actually gives you the option to post to your social media account, which is strange. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But as you can see, we went ahead and did that. Now we can go to my icon. And I just switched it to this dude right here. So... Very strange. Um, I don't know why this isn't in the, the actual system settings because, like I said, if you go to the system settings right now and you go to, you know, these characters, you will not find that character in here. 
you will not find that Mario Kart character in here. All those characters are like locked behind the Nintendo Switch Online service. And there's a whole new world of profiles and icons that you can unlock that is not on your system menu. So a little complicated, a little strange how Nintendo decided to do this. I figured I'd go ahead and make a video in case you guys were unaware of it because I just figured it out today just because I was bored. So leave a comment below. Let me know. Did you know about this or am I just kind of like, you know, you know, kind of living under a rock here? And I, you know, everyone knows about this but me. I don't know. I didn't know. So I figured there's probably a lot of other people that didn't know either. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this video was helpful or not. If it was, go ahead and give a like on the video. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again. To help out the Van Buren 20 channel, you can now press the new thanks button YouTube just rolled out. By pressing this button, it now allows you to donate to your favorite content creator so you can show your support. Don't forget, you can also show your support by pressing the join button that makes you become an exclusive member of the channel that gives you access to exclusive emojis that you can use in the live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and as always, there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again.